Namaste. Welcome back and welcome to day 20 of our power yoga practice. We are 20 days in. We only have 10 more days. That's two thirds of the way in. Excellent job. Today's class is going to be a class about balance for balancing yourself, balancing your body, balancing your mind and balancing your everyday life. What you find on the mat, your practice on the mat reflects in your day to day life. Maybe you've started to see this a little bit by now. The things that you work on in your yoga practice are things that you work on in your day-to-day -day life. And balance is one of those things that everyone needs to work on just a little bit. So today, that's what we will be focusing on. If you have blocks, grab them. If you don't have blocks, that's perfectly fine. Um, I didn't own blocks for many years of my practice, so you can learn to balance in your body without extra extra props. That is perfectly all right. So take your feet hip distance apart, shoulders down and back, sway left to right, find your central axis, close your eyes. And begin to deepen the breath. And tune into the body. And notice perhaps where feel unstable today. Maybe one side of the body or the other. Maybe there's something going on in your life. Just notice it. Acknowledge it. And then find stillness. just slightly. We don't need to squeeze in really tightly, but just suck the navel in a little. Notice how that gives you more stability in the spine. Roll the shoulders down and back. your arms down around and up. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Cross your hands above your head. Let your head be heavy. Gently sway left and right. fall to the floor and slowly inhale roll all the way back up to standing arms down around and up and exhale hands to prayer take your weight onto your right foot lift your left foot off of the mat press into all four corners of the right foot hands to prayer and then slowly hinge at the hip Take your left foot behind you, flex the foot, and we'll come into warrior three. So there's different variations of warrior three. Um, for a complete beginner, this would be totally fine. And you can slowly bring yourself more forward, hinging at the hips, flex the left foot behind you, square the hips, so square the left hip down. Focus on a drishti point. You can also bend the right knee, lengthen through the tailbone, engage through the core, lengthen your crown of head away from your foot. Slow down the breath, press the left hip down, and then slowly come back up to standing, and release the left foot to the mat. Good job, warrior three, done for one side. So now ground down through the left foot, lift the right leg, press through all four corners of the left foot, keep your hands to prayer, core tight, keep the hips square, and then hinge at the hips, kick the right foot behind you, flex the foot, open through the heart, 
And again, stay at your level with a flat back, long spine. Hands to prayer. You can bend through the left knee if you'd like. Press the right hip down. Right kinky toe down towards the mat. And focus on your drishti point. Inhale, slowly come back up to standing. And plant the right foot down. Inhale, your arms down, around, and up. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, plant the palms and step it back into plank. Press your heels away from you, spread your fingers wide. Or up and in. And then release the belly to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Take your hands underneath your forehead. Press your hip points into the mat and lift both legs. And release. We'll do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Plant the palms underneath the shoulders and press all the way back up into downward dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Take your hands to your hips. Take your weight onto the right foot. So lean forward just a little bit, and then kick your left heel to the sky, keeping your weight on the right foot. 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back, high lunge, hands to prayer, prayer twist. Look over your right shoulder. Press your left heel away from you. Inhale, reach. Exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank. Core tight. And bring your right knee in between your elbows. And then your left knee in between your elbows. Right, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Belly to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. And this time, press into the tops of both feet. Engage your legs. Reach your arms in front of you. And then lift your arms and your heart space. And release. Ten. shoulders and press all the way back up into down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Hands to your hips. Take your weight onto your left leg and kick the right leg up to the sky, your right heel to the sky. One, two, three, four, Hands to prayer, twist. Inhale, reach. And exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank. This time, take your right knee to your right elbow. 
left knee to left elbow. Again, this can be done from your forearm. One, two, three, core tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Belly to mat. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, release. This time, reach your arms back. Backs of the hands to the sky, forehead to the mat. And then lift both feet, both arms, heart space, forehead, everything up. For three, two, one, release. Press it back to downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Take your hands to prayer. And now bend your left knee a little bit. We're going to try to launch ourselves into warrior three without touching the ground. If you need to touch the ground, you can hop in to standing and then come into warrior three. Absolutely fine. If you come back to this practice later on, maybe you'll be able to do it later on with more practice, with more experience. But bend your left knee and press forward into warrior three. Keep the left hip down, crown ahead lengthens away, core tight, engaged. Aim the left pinky toe towards the mat. You can keep your hands in prayer or reach left to right in airplane arms. Bend the right knee, step it back, high lunge. Hands to prayer, twist. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, reach, and exhale, plant the palms, step it back to plank. Hold your plank. And chaturanga. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Take your hands to prayer and the right knee and launch forward into warrior three. Can take your arms out side to side. Then the left knee, step it back, high lunge, hands to prayer twist. Inhale, reach, and exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank, vinyasa, upward dog. To down dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look between your hands, and hop, step, or jump to the front of the mat. Half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop the arms down, around and up in chair. Core tight, heart lifts. Make sure you can see your toes. And release your arms down, around and up, reach. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. From here, take your weight onto your right foot. Press down through your right foot, lift with the left. And you can either take your left foot to your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh. So if you're up in your inner thigh, take your foot with your hand if you need to. Press down through the right foot, right hip. Press down through the left hip. Lift through the heart, lift through the crown of the head, hands to prayer. Focus on, focus, focus on a drishti point. Focus on a drishti point. Smile. Work on your balance. Your ankles might start to get tired. 
if you need to come out of it and shake your legs, that's fine. Release, take your left knee into your chest and then take your right hand to your left knee, look over your left shoulder, twist. Release, come back to center. Find your balance. And same thing on the other side. So ground down through the left, left foot this time. Bring your right foot wherever you choose. You may notice that there's a difference in each side. That's fine, my right foot cannot come up nearly as high. It's a little bit harder for me to keep it here. So press into your right foot with your left thigh, right foot into left thigh, hands to prayer. If you lose your balance, that's okay. And focus on your drishti point. Bring your right knee into your chest. Keep hold of it with your left hand and reach your right arm back away from you. Look over your right shoulder. And release, back to center. Inhale your arms down, around and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank, vinyasa. To down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale the right arm up. Easy twist. Exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank. Vinyasa. To down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale the left arm up. Easy twist. Now try not to dump into the right hand. See if you can lift and still get a twist. And release, step it back to plank. Vinyasa to down dog. Release your knees to the mat, flip over onto your bum. Take your legs long in front of you, flex the feet. Inhale, reach, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find a flat back, and then exhale, fold with a flat back. So don't round through the upper back this time. See how far you can get while keeping a flat back. You might notice that the stretch is deeper. come back up bring your left shin bone onto the mat sweep your right leg back around behind you and come into pigeon on the left side press through the right hip press through the right top of the foot look behind you and make sure the foot is straight behind you inhale lift find length through the heart space and exhale forward. Walk your hands back in towards you. Sweep the right foot all the way around and bring your right foot on the outside of your left knee. Inhale, reach with the left arm. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center and switch sides. So take the right shin to the mat. Sweep the left foot behind you. Inhale, lift, and exhale, fold. And wherever you are in your fold is good for you. So as long as you're, if you're here and that feels good, then that's fine. If you can bring your forehead all the way to the mat and that feels good, that's fine too.
hands back in. Sweep your left leg around. Left foot to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, reach, and exhale, twist. And then release both legs long, hip distance apart. Heels to the mat, reach around behind you, bring your forehead to the mat, twist. Over to the other side. Come back to center and slowly roll onto your back. Bring your right knee into your chest. Supine twist. Over to the other side. to center. Bring your feet into your hands. Happy baby. Soles of the feet together and knees apart. And then release the feet to the mat. You can keep the soles of the feet together. Supta Baddha Konasana, or you can allow your legs to go long in Shavasana. Shimmy your shoulders up underneath your heart space, lengthen your tailbone away from you. Let your hands be heavy, your eyes closed. Begin to slowly inhale. Imagine a sphere of light. Inhale up the left side of the body through the third eye center and exhale down the right side of the body. Inhale up through the right side of the body through the third eye center and exhale down the left side of the body. A few more breaths like this. Consciously moving the energy. Now release the conscious breathing. Allow your breath to come back to its natural rhythm. If your legs are in Supta Baddha Konasana, allow them to go long in Shavasana. Feet heavy left to right. And stay here, body heavy, mind still, for as long as you're able. See you back here tomorrow. From my heart to yours, namaste.